Hey everyone, uh, this is Julian and today I want to run through a quick demo of uh, a very cool library that was open sourced last night by Amazon. It's called Destiny and um, it stands for a deep scalable sparse tensor network engine and uh, to make a long story short uh, it's uh, a neural network uh, deep learning library that Amazon uses uh, for uh, recommendation. And uh, I know that's something uh, a lot of people have been waiting for coming from uh, Amazon. And uh, well, uh, I thought I would just show you how it works really quick. So uh, you can uh, set it up locally on your own machine. You can, uh, you can run it as a Docker container. Uh, and of course, you can run it on AWS uh, within a, a, a GPU instance. And that's what I'm going to do. So uh, you need to start a GPU instance in uh, US East 1 using this AMI. I just go to the EC2 console, launch an instance, select the proper AMI, and you're all set. Uh, I've done this already. There's nothing complicated here. Uh, you don't need uh, me to show that to you. Um, let's uh, SSH to that instance. Well, actually, I am already logged in. That's perfect. Um, so what do we see here? We see already some um, uh, CUDA stuff installed. And uh, the next step is to um, uh, build the library itself. So um, I'm going to uh, clone the repo. And that's quick, right? I'm going to go to the proper source directory, OK? and uh, there is a path that's setting in there that I need to, uh, yep, to configure to make sure I have all the CUDA tools to build this library. And then I can just run make. And this runs for a few minutes, so uh, nothing really interesting to watch here. So I'm going to pause the video and we'll be back in a few minutes. OK, so we're done building the library and the tools. Um, there's just this path setting to configure as well to make sure I have all the tools ready to uh, train my model. OK, so now let's grab some data. And uh, this uh, example here is using a data set uh, called Movie Lens. And uh, it's a set of uh, movie recommendations done by uh, a large number of users. So you can grab the raw data set here. Um, and uh, this demo is going to use the 20 million data set, which has 20 million ratings and over 138,000 users. So let's get this. It should be pretty fast. And then the next step will be to generate uh, the input layer, uh, the input uh, data for the, for the neural network. And uh, I'm going to do this with uh, this generate net CDF command that is part of the library. So that's fairly quick, right? And then we'll do the same thing for the output data and uh, then we can train our model. If you want description of that, uh, of that net CDF format, it's obviously included in the documentation here. So let's do the output layer. And then we're going to train the model. Uh, so the, the training is described in a JSON file, uh, like many things in AWS. Um, specifically, we are uh, describing the layers that we're using. So obviously, an input layer and an output layer. Sorry. Uh, and in the middle, a hidden layer with 128 nodes and a sigmoid activation function. OK, so both input 
the input and the output layers here already. So let me grab that config file. Okay. Okay, good. And now we can train the model. Um, so right now the um, um, uh, the, the model training is uh, is only supported on a single GPU instance, um, but the documentation says that uh, where did I say that that multi GPU uh, multi GPU modeling is coming. Uh, it's in there. Yeah, I've seen it. Oh, here it is, obviously. <laughs> So coming soon. So that's uh, that's an important feature, obviously, for very very large uh, problems. Even the powerful uh, GPU instances uh, cannot uh, solve those problems on their own. So they're going to be they're going to be clustered. So looking forward to that. Hopefully, that's another cool demo I can show you very soon. All right. So training is pretty fast. And then we can run predictions. So um, actually, while this is running, maybe we could uh, uh, maybe we could look at some of the data. Okay, so, um, oh, yeah, that's the one I wanted to show you. So this is actually the file. So each line uh, contains the movie recommendations for a, sp a specific user. So, uh, um, so I'm guessing this is the user ID. I'm guessing this is some kind of timestamp. And this is probably movie ID, right? And so for each user, we have uh, we have a specific line with movie recommendations, right? So looks like our model is done. Okay. And so now we're going to run our prediction, which is going to recommend um, movies for our users. And that should be pretty fast. Maybe I can just pause the video and show you the end result. All right, prediction is done. It took about uh, a couple of minutes, was really fast. And so now we have movie recommendations here. Okay, so how many lines do we have first? Well, same number as users. So that's a good sign. So for each, uh, basically for each user, we have a list, I think, of 10 movies. So movie IDs here. I think it's 10. And we have a score, right? So based on their, uh, based on their ratings, based on the movie that they liked, uh, these users are going to like those 10 movies. So for example, uh, uh, user number nine, uh, is going to like movie 2858 uh, with a probability of uh, 0 0.3, which is quite low. Um, uh, and, uh, and movie 3578 with a probability of uh, 0 0.29, etc., etc., right? And uh, we have that for all our uh, 130,000 plus users, okay? And again, this was really, uh, it, it took, you, you saw how long it took. I mean, the, the, you took a few minutes to generate the input and output files and the training itself literally lasted for maybe two minutes on, the, on that GPU instance. So imagine what you could do with, uh, with um, multiple GPU instances. You could run this 
um, many, many times per day and, and refresh your recommendations, um, if not on the fly, at least extremely often and make them even more relevant. So I think this is really, really uh, an important announcement for uh, for machine learning freaks and uh, and uh, people interested in building recommendation models. So there you go, Amazon Destiny. Uh, hope you like it. Hope you build some cool stuff. Uh, and hopefully I can soon show you how to do that with uh, multiple GPUs. Thanks for listening and uh, we'll be in touch. <laughs>